y'all. Welcome to Mama Righteous Southern Cooking. Today, uh, I've been doing a lot of baking. It's Christmas time. So, um, I'm doing peanut butter rolls. And I'm probably doing them a little bit different than what a lot of people uh, does them. But it's easy and it's real simple. And, I mean, three, four ingredients and that's it. But, um... I've already done some, so my pan's already dirty. But uh, now I'm using cake icing. It's uh, the ready to spread, just regular vanilla icing. Um, I usually get mine from either uh, Save a Lot or Aldi's. And I like the off brand better because to me it's not as sweet. So when you're putting a powdered sugar in it, it's not as sweet as it could be. But just use the regular kind, not the wilt. But you use one container, and one container will make two peanut butter rolls. And it's, a, it's simple to do, but it's messy. It's just a real messy thing to do, and we'll get into the real mess later. But just put one container in. And I add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to start out with about a cup and a half. Because if you put too much, now this is powdered sugar. If you put too much in at one time, it can um, go over to the sides and get too clumpy and have your icing to spread out too bad. So just do about a cup and a half at a time. And just mix this up. What we are looking for is like when you make bread dough. When you want um, your dough to be not sticky. And you will need this just, just like if it was bread dough. Now, there's a lot of different ways to make this. Um, you can use mashed potatoes. I've, I've done it before with mashed potatoes. And I used, that's about the only way I ever did do it. And there was a friend showed me this probably about 15 years ago. Her name's Hannah. Showed me how to do it this way. And I've been making it ever since. And uh, we like it just as good, if not better. And some people boils their sugar. Like if you was making Definity, they'll do it that way. But this is just so much simpler to do when it's easy. And tastes just as good. You, I've had a lot of people say that they couldn't tell no other difference if it was the bold kind or the other. And some people use this marshmallow cream to do theirs in. Now that'll build up on your hands. You just and just add more powdered sugar as you need it. It's just kind of hard to say exactly how much to use. But what you're looking for is just, you know, make sure that you just blend that in real good and knead it. And when you get it to where it's not sticky, when you can run your fingers right through that dough when it's not sticking, then you'll know that you're getting close. I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar. It probably ends up taking probably right around three, three and a half cups of powdered sugar. You could make one great big one if you wanted to, but it's just a lot simpler just to divide your dough in half. 
and roll out half at a time. We're almost there. I know it's been a crazy year this year, everything going on and stuff, but uh, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Just remember the reason for the season. Christmas is a special time of the year. When our Savior was born. Okay. You can see now I can pick it up and it's not sticking to my hands. That's how you know when it's not sticking that like that, that that's when it's ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like roll it out a little in the pan and then I'll I try to measure and I just break it apart and make two rows. And if one's a little bit bigger than the other, just pinch off. And that way you'll have more of a even dough. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside. Now this is my counter that I'm going to use. And I always try to, I always keep me a thing of water in my sink so I can clean my hands off and stuff as I go. But now I'm going to wash this counter down. If you had a bigger spot, you know it wouldn't be as, as bad, but I don't have a whole big lot of kitchen counters, so. But if you've got an island or something like that in the middle, then it would be good to use that. Now I'm gonna use the paper towels just to dry it off. Because you want this good and dry, and you want it good and clean. Now, I'm going to take powdered sugar, just like if it was flour. Now, with some countertops, you have pores in it. So, if, and mine is, mine's got pores in it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my powdered sugar right down in to my countertop. And the reason why I'm doing that is so when I start rolling my dough, it's not going to stick to the counter. This is messy. It's simple, but it's messy. But the more you work that down into your pores of your counter, the better it'll be for not sticking. Okay, now just spread your powdered sugar in. I want to make a little bit more. Just set your bowl in the middle. Now, if anybody ain't got a Pioneer Woman uh, rolling pin, they're awesome. But make sure you powder it down good. And then powder the top of your bowl. And then just roll it out. And I go back and forth each direction.
you can also add you a little bit of powdered sugar to it. You'll do it just like bread if you're rolling out rolls or dumplings or whatever. Okay, and then you want it a little bit thinner in some places if it's too thick just press it out just a little bit more. It really don't matter if it's real good and even or not. Okay, now take your peanut butter. I prefer creamy, some people likes the crunchy, but now if you use the crunchy, it's harder to spread. And it seems to be thicker. And I like a lot of peanut butter on mine. But now I've also, I've made these with chocolate icing before and put the peanut butter in them. And they're good that way too. You can use the just plain vanilla and you can also use the cream cheese in the white. They ain't much or no difference in the taste of either one of them. Spread it as evenly as you can get it. Now always start from the top to start your rolling. Sometimes it, especially on your first one, it'll be a little bit harder to roll if you ain't got the things down in and the pores of your now always take a knife and cut off the bad looking edges. You can see that peanut butter right down through the middle. Now these are real soft when you first do it. And I always wrap up a piece of cardboard and wrap it up on aluminum foil. And just smooth it smooth it out if it's a little long you can always cut that extra edge off and you can mold these so there it is I hope you all enjoy it and stuff but Rick Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas, and thank you.